Hey, what's up? I want to show you how I created the ultimate solo sustainer. I gave 145% break effect and 47% outgoing healing to Gallagher and he unleashed his true potential. In this video Gallagher carried Acheron in memory of Chaos 12. Let me show you how to play him properly and I'll show you the build later on in this video as well. For this run I used Acheron, Silverwolf, Pella and Gallagher. This is the power of the 4 star Gallagher Unchained. Let's jump straight in using Pella's technique. By using her technique, everyone's defense will be reduced at the beginning of the battle. Here we're getting attacked a couple of times as their speed is a bit higher than ours. It's time to start funneling Acheron's ultimate with debuffs. First with Pella's skill and then with Acheron's skill to gain another 2. Because we have Pella at idle on 4, whenever she uses her skill she applies another debuff. Alright, Gallagher's turn is up, he's using his skill to heal Acheron and then straight up jumping into his ultimate. His ultimate applies besotted to all the enemies and whenever enemies have besotted, if I attack them with any other teammates, they will heal. And straight up after using his ultimate, Gallagher advances himself forward by 100%. So basically he's giving himself an extra turn here. That's why I was able to use the skill again to heal one more time. Having Eidolon 2 on Gallagher, it's very useful as whenever he heals with his skill, he also claims and remo removes a debuff from one of your teammates. Now circling back to him using his ultimate uh, previous turn, not only that he gives himself an extra turn, but he also enhances his basic attack. What that does is whenever he uses his next basic attack, which is the enhanced basic attack, he will heal all the other teammates. This is all possible because of his traces. So whenever you're going through the leveling process, you're buying three traces. One trace allows him to heal all the teammates with his enhanced basic attack. The other trace allows him to advance himself forward by 100% whenever he uses his ultimate. And his last trace increases his outgoing healing by 50% of his total break effect. So Gallagher is a break effect scaling unit. In order to get the maximum out of his healings, you need to have 150% break effect. That's how he will receive a maximum of 75% of outgoing healing increase. There's also another way to increase your outgoing healings with Gallagher, and not only with Gallagher, with any other healers, is by having an outgoing healing percentage body in your build. So if you're having an outgoing healing relic, you can increase it by another 40%. If you want to go even higher than that, you can also use a combination of the two set relic that increases the outgoing healing for another 10%. And if you want to take it even higher than that, you can use a light cone that increases the outgoing healing as well. But in Gallagher's case, you're better off using a break effect light cone. If you're struggling to reach 150% break effect, you can always use a break effect planner ornament sphere. This will give you 65% at level 15. And to increase your break effect even higher, you can use, same as with Ruan Mei, the two-piece relic set that gives 16% break effect. And to gain even more break effect, you can use the two-piece set of planner ornaments, Talia, Kingdom of Bandrity, which gives 16% break effect, and another 20% break effect on top of that if you can manage to get 145 speed on Gallagher. Gallagher is one of these units that needs to go faster. The faster he goes, the more ultimates he actually can use. But if you pair him with uh, Acheron, whenever he uses his ultimate, he's going to attack all the enemies and apply debuff on them. Just check this out, Pella just heal herself all the way up just by attacking the enemies with the Besotted debuff. And now Gallagher is going to use his enhanced basic attack to heal back all the other teammates. A nice tip here for you is that if your character attacks multiple enemies with the Besotted debuff on them, they heal as many times. That's why Acheron was able to heal herself all the way from little to no health left. Same as with Pella a couple of moments ago. This debuff is also good if you pair him with Acheron. She's going to receive one ultimate charge and not only that, his next basic attack is also applying a debuff. So basically Acheron can receive two ultimate charges whenever Gallagher acts. Back to the Besotted debuff state, as long as the enemy have it on them, your teammates will be able to always heal back. As you can see here, Silverwolf is going to use her skill and then ultimate to heal twice. Just keep in mind, you'll also have to plan ahead a little with Gallagher whenever, if you want to use his ultimate. And also keep in mind that if you have fast enemies, 
they will be able to remove the debuff sooner than other enemies. If you can afford his Eidolon 4, you will be able to increase his debuff duration by one turn. So you're better off using his ultimate after their turn and not before. But if you need to emergency heal, like in this case now, I used Gallagher's ultimate here in between Sam's attacks, just so I can push myself back up to use the enhanced basic attack and heal all the other teammates. Not only that, now all the enemies have this debuff on them. And as my team acts, they will be able to heal themselves all the way back up, or at least some of their health back up. Just keep in mind before you act, if you really need that heal, to check which enemy has the besotted state so you can attack accordingly. If your character can use his skill or attack to attack multiple enemies, or even so, to follow it up with an ultimate so you can heal two or three times in one single action. Gallagher's heals are really niche and there's no other character in the game at the moment that does this kind of healing. But if you use him properly, his heals are amazing and you'll always end up overhealing yourself. Not really in my case here as I'm about to die, but I'm using Gallagher's heal to restore Silverwolf's HP. Then with Pella I'm going to use my single target basic attack to heal a little bit and then use the ultimate to heal once more. And as she's about to attack multiple enemies with the Bisota debuff on them, she's going to heal multiple times with one attack. Gallagher's ultimate needs 110 energy to cast. That's why at the beginning of the video I said that he needs to be a bit faster than usual healers. And uh, it's either you give him 145 speed to receive the most break effect out of items so you can skip having an energy regeneration rope or if you can afford it from your substats if you have enough break effect you can give him an energy regeneration rope to make this to make his ultimate charge even faster. So if you can afford having the right stats to make him fast, also have a lot of break effect and also have an energy regen rope, you will never have any issues with him being able to heal your team, not even in the worst case scenarios. But even so, even if you don't have his best in slot items or his best in slot substats or whatever, you will still be able to heal quite a bit. As you can see here in my video, he wasn't really built up perfectly. But I did my best to give him as much break effect as I could, as much speed as I could, and as much outgoing healing as I could. And this is really easy to achieve. All you have to do is give break effect rope, a pair of speed boots, and an outgoing healing body. And you're already increasing his outgoing healing by at least 100% just by doing that. Maybe this gets a bit confusing or technical, but uh, don't let it put you down, as it's really really easy to build him up. I actually built him up with scrap that I have found in my inventory. I didn't really farm for its best build. And this is how I cleared Memory of Chaos 12. Now for the last part of the video, let me show you what items I actually have on him and what substats, and give you my recommendations on what traces to prioritize leveling up first. As for his light cone, I have used time waits for no one, for the 18% extra HP and 12% outgoing healing. For better heals, upgrade his talent first, followed by skill. Now to show you my items, I have used the break effect rope to give him 65% break effect, speed boots, the two-piece set, watchmaker master of dream to give him another 16% break effect, and lastly the two-piece messenger traversing hacker space to give him 6% extra speed, combined with an outgoing healing body to give him another 35% outgoing healing. And this is how I've managed to get 144% break effect and 47% outgoing healing on Gallagher. What about you? Did you build your own Gallagher? What do you think about this unit? Because for me this is the perfect match for my Acheron team, especially if they need sustain. But if I go for a zero cycle or other shenanigans, I probably take him off and replace him with Sparkle or with Ruanmei. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you learned something, subscribe. Bye bye.